Here we go again with another sure-to-be-fun summer on Wyoming's reservoirs and lakes. The official kickoff to Wyoming's boating season begins next weekend, and the Wyoming Game and Fish Department is encouraging all that sport about on the state's lakes and reservoirs to go enjoy, just be safe and legal. A few items to consider. Watercraft inspections have resumed around the state, meaning any watercraft transported into Wyoming until November 30th must undergo a mandatory inspection for aquatic invasive species and have an AIS decal on your watercraft. Inspection must be done by a certified AIS inspector prior to launching on any Wyoming waters. A listing of inspectors is on the Game and Fish website. Plan ahead for inspections. It's the watercraft owner's responsibility to ensure that their watercraft has been inspected. All boaters must stop when encountering an open AIS check station on their route of travel. Is your boat registered? If it's not, you can't launch. Both watercraft registration and AIS decals are available for purchase on the Game & Fish website or at a regional office. Because a license isn't required to drive a boat, some boaters may regard boating as an activity associated with drinking. A hot summer day with plenty of friends and family at the lake presents a welcome opportunity to kick back, relax, and have a few. But if the boat operator has had one too many and decides to go for a cruise on the jet ski or boat, well, the weekend could go bad fast. Boating under the influence arrests are common. Impaired boaters put passengers at risk, and rescues can be difficult. Water in most reservoirs will still be very cold, and injured victims could be in the water, maybe even without a life jacket, in a setting where hypothermia sets in quickly. Which leads to the last point. How's the safety gear on your boat looking these days? Is it up to standard? Is there enough life jackets to cover everyone who will be on board? And do they fit everyone, even the little ones? Are first aid kits, throwable devices, fire extinguishers, lights, and air horns working? These are easy things to address, so get them taken care of now so that you can have that easy, enjoyable weekend at the lake. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.